Look, we all want to be buff, make money, wake up early, and better ourselves. The greatness is inside all of us. However, that one thing that separates the haves from the have-nots is persistence. See, many of us will start trying to better ourselves day by day, but quickly fall off due to lack of motivation. So if we understand that problem, why not attack that problem head on and take the keys that are going to literally unlock your whole life? This is like the ultimate cheat code to life how to unlock your motivation. Today, boys, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do, tricks that you can mentally do to motivate yourself to do anything. For example, just do five, five minutes. See, sometimes when you have a hard task, it's the start that's the hardest. For example, if I tell you, go work out for one hour right now, you will make up every single excuse in your head to not do that. Oh, I have chores to do, I got homework to do, I'm too tired, I'm too full, I'll do it tomorrow. Anything to not do that hard task right now. But if I were to challenge you right now, yo, give me as many push-ups as you can in five minutes, chances are a huge portion of you would be more willing to do that. And now that you already are there and physically active, you are more likely to finish a one hour workout. Well, that applies to any hard task in life. So if you got a hard project, you're trying to work on your side business, or you're trying to get healthier, trick your mind and tell yourself, you know what, I'm just gonna do it for five minutes. Once you're there, once you're in the grind of it, guaranteed you'll be more motivated to finish it through. Number two, what is your why? See, sometimes the task itself seems boring or like a complete waste of time, which is why you are unmotivated to actually finish it. And, and that's explainable. See, we as humans, we're greedy creatures. So if we see something that's not benefiting us right now, we're not gonna be attracted to it. So what you need to do when you're feeling like this is zoom out of that singular task and look at the bigger why. Why are you here doing something that others are avoiding to do? Is it because you wanna be more successful to help your family or you wanna be healthier, get shredded to get the interest of that girl? I don't care what your why is, but when you feel unmotivated, get a little bit greedy and start thinking about why you're doing this and what you're gonna benefit out of it. That that's gonna motivate you. Number three, have a mantra. I don't care how cheesy or tacky or where you got them from, I want you to have a few statements that resonate for you, that motivate you every time you hear them and have them close to you. It could literally be something as simple and cheesy as just do it. The Nike mantra. See, it happens to everybody. I get unmotivated too, especially when I'm, I'm, I'm drowning a lot of work. So I personally have a sticky note on the top left corner of my screen, every time I'm unmotivated, I have literally like 15 quotes that I go through, mantras that I believe motivate me, and every time I read them, it's like it sparks me back and gets me back to work. Number four, strike a power pose. See, Harvard researcher Amy Buddy and her TED Talk dived deep into the importance of body language and specifically discussed topics of low power poses and high power poses. Like, I guarantee you right now as you're watching this video, you're probably hunched over your screen, all curled up, and in, in a horrible low power posture or position. Chances are this is how you walk around in life or this is how you work or when you're doing something that's productive and this low confidence pose not only is fatiguing you but it's also unmotivating. Well, next time you catch yourself doing this, like right now, I want you to snap out of it, stand up and strike a Superman powerful pose. Yes, I know you might look a little bit dumb, but the reality is that research has found that you doing this for just two minutes not only will boost your testosterone, which is linked to higher confidence, but also lower your cortisol levels, which is linked to stress. And finally, number five, it's peer pressure. Look, let's be honest, we're all still acting like big kids on a playground. We end up wanting to be and act like those that are around us. And here's the crazy part. Research has actually found that peer pressure actually is more beneficial than damaging to kids. Well, if your goal is to become a crazy entrepreneur or a better athlete or get physically fit, doesn't it make sense to surround yourself with athletes or entrepreneurs or gym rats? That way, you allow peer pressure to take its natural course and you're gonna naturally be motivated to want to be and act like those that are around you. Now, you're motivating yourself and molding yourself into exactly what you want to be. Boys. That's it from me in today's video. See you next time.